In the last video, I showed you that E was defined as the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can derive this second equation for E involving factorials. And the reason we want to do this is that this second equation converges much, much faster. And the way to do this is to start with this expression here and expand it using the binomial theorem. And then we can take the limit as n approaches infinity. So if you've forgotten how to expand a binomial, it's fairly simple. Let's say I have a plus b to the third power. My first term would be a to the third, and then I add three times a squared multiplied by b to the first. And I'll come back to where these coefficients come from plus 3 times a to the first times b squared plus b to the third power. So you can see that this leftmost term starts at the power that this binomial is raised to and counts down by 1 each term. And the right term here does the opposite. It starts at b to the 0 and counts all the way up to this exponent, in this case 3. And there are a couple different ways that we can get these coefficients. One way is to use Pascal's triangle. So we have 1, then 1, 1, then 1, 2, 1, then 1, 3, 3, 1, where, let's say to get this 2, I add the 1 and the 1. And to get this 3, I add the 1 and the 2. To get this 3, I add 1 and 2. So for instance, the next row, they always start and end with 1. And then we add these to get 4, add these to get 6. We would have 4 here and a 1 here. And we could keep going on forever, where each row corresponds to what power the binomial is raised to. For instance, this is when our exponent, which we'll call n, is equal to 0. This is when n is 1. This is n is 2. This is n is 3, which is our case here. And this is n is 4. And one other way to find this is to use the binomial coefficient. And it looks fairly complicated, but it's simple to use. So we have n factorial divided by n minus k factorial times k factorial, where the n value is our exponent, whatever we raise this binomial to, and our k value denotes which term of this expansion we're on. For instance, this is k is 0, this is k is 1, this is k is 2, and so on. So I'll show you that with k equals 2 and n equals 3, we can find that the coefficient is 3. So for 3, 2 in this notation, we have 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial, which is just 1 factorial, multiplied by 2 factorial which is equal to 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1. So everything but the 3 cancels out. And that is what we are looking for. So to expand the expression 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power, we need to use the binomial coefficient. So if I rewrite that expression a little lower, we have nk equals n factorial over n minus k factorial times k factorial. So if we find the first few coefficients, we'll notice a pattern. So we have n0 for the first term, which would simply be n factorial divided by n minus 0 factorial. So that's just n factorial. And then 0 factorial is just 1. So multiplied by 0 factorial. So these cancel, and we're left with 1. And if we have n1, and we have n factorial divided by n minus 1, n minus 1 factorial multiplied by 1 factorial. So in this case, everything but the n will cancel out. And if I have n2, this is equal to n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial. So here, we're just left with n times n minus 1 in the numerator and this is divided by 2 factorial. And one way you can think about this, let's say I have 
5 factorial divided by 3 factorial. So we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the numerator, and 3 times 2 times 1 in the denominator. So all of the integers above 3 in this numerator will be left, since the 3s, the 2s, and the 1s all cancel out. And for n3, we'll notice the pattern now. We have n factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial. So here, when everything cancels out, we're left with n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all divided by 3 factorial. So if we follow this same pattern, then n4 is just n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, all divided by 4 factorial. So now we're ready to expand our expression of 1 plus 1 over n to the nth power. So 1 to any power is 1. So we can essentially ignore that on each of our terms. So our rightmost term in this binomial, remember, starts to the 0 power, and then the second term to the first power, and the third term to the second power, and so on. So we would have 1, since it's just 1 to the nth times 1 over n to the 0, plus n, since that's the coefficient of the first term, multiplied by 1 over n, plus, now we have n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial, multiplied by 1 over n squared, plus, and then we have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all divided by 3 factorial, and this is multiplied by 1 over n to the third power, and this continues all the way to 1 over n to the nth power. And our next step is to make some cancellations. So this expression is equal to 1 plus, here the n's cancel out, so we're left with 1 plus, and for this next term, I'm going to multiply this n by one of these, 1 over n's, and I'll multiply n minus 1 by the other 1 over n. So I'm left with 1 multiplied by n multiplied by 1 over n is just 1 minus 1 multiplied by 1 over n is 1 over n, and this is divided by 2 factorial. And this next term here, I'm going to again multiply this n by 1 over n, this n minus 1 by 1 over n, and this n minus 2 by 1 over n, since there are three of these. So I have 1 multiplied by 1 minus 1 over n, multiplied by 1 minus 2 over n all divided by 3 factorial. And I'll continue this on and on, and this goes all the way to plus 1 over n to the nth. And when I take the limit, as n approaches infinity, this last term here is canceled out, since this is really just 1 over n to the nth power. So we can just look at these first terms here. So when I take this limit, now I'm left with 1 plus 1 plus, and this parentheses here, this 1 over n term will approach 0 as n approaches infinity, so this will cancel out. This 1 over n here cancels out. 2 over n will approach 0 as n approaches infinity, so that cancels, and so on. And all of these numerators are going to be left with just 1. So I have 1 divided by 2 factorial plus 1 divided by 3 factorial, and so on. This is infinitely long. And to better show you the pattern, I can rewrite this as 1 over 0 factorial. Remember, this is just equal to 1, plus 1 over 1 factorial, plus 1 over 2 factorial, and so on.